going to talk today about something that I've had a difficult struggle with all through my life. I tend to be an impatient person, and I've worked on that. And some days are better than other days, even now. But when I have those days where I can bring up the power of patience inside of me, the whole day changes because I change and it will change for you. I pray that you today are open and receptive to the Spirit of God working in and through me. And therefore, in that moment when you say those words, you become patient. I am open and patiently receptive to the Spirit of God working in and through me. See, life is a growing and also a learning process. As we journey through life, we grow and hopefully we mature in spiritual consciousness. You're not your biography. You're not who you were yesterday. You are here on this journey of life for soul growth. Now, sometimes in this growth, we become impatient. We try to force things and force results. But when we patiently wait on the Spirit of God to work in us and through us, and in all situations, we actually gain spiritual strength and we gain faith. We are spiritual beings and we trust the activity of spirit, and when you trust the activity of spirit, and remind yourself again of that, because this whole uh, ministry is a remembrance society. We're here to remember what we already know. Each of us goes to their different church homes, but we're here to gather together, people hand in hand of different faith, so we can again recall the blessings and the gifts of God. We are here to grow in the power of patience. We are here, and as we're here, we choose in our free will to live this day in a patient way, to live this day to be open and receptive to the blessings both expected and unexpected. Those days that I prayed for patience, where I was feeling impatient, you know, in a long line at Walmart or wherever, and wanted to get through, I have been amazed at the blessings, the unexpected blessings that came through me just calming down and relaxing, enjoying the moment, and seeing things that I wouldn't ordinarily see. One time, I saw from across the store, while I'm standing in this long line, a friend that I had not seen in years. And I was able to go leave the line, go across the, the store, and find this special person. It is wonderful to have a true realization of ourselves as spiritual beings. As we acknowledge our bodies as temples of God, we allow the Spirit of God to have free access in and through us. And we receive all that is ours through our divine birthright. It says in 1 Corinthians 2, verse 9, What no eye has seen, nor ear heard, nor the heart of man conceived, what God has prepared for those that love him. May God bless you. May you find and discover all that you want to in life this day.